as I've already mentioned, we need to make sure that we're tracking tweets so we're not replying to the same person again and again each time we run this script. So you're going to want to create a database, create a table called tracking, and you're just going to need two things. You don't even need an auto incrementing ID, but you definitely need the Twitter ID. So this needs to be stored as a big integer, and this will have a length of 20. And over here, you can already see I have a list of things that I've already been uh, replying with, and I don't want to get rid of these because uh, it will go and send a hell of a lot of tweets. So uh, once you have this, you'll have an empty database table, which is absolutely fine. Just down here, we're going to track each of these. Now the solution that we're using at the moment isn't ideal because for each tweet, which is potentially 20, because remember t Twitter's API only will return you the most recent 20 uh, tweets, we want to uh, execute a query to just insert this into the database. So we of course need to set our database up. So up the top here, I'm just going to use PDO inside of here for now. So I'm gonna create a new PDO instance. Uh, this is going to be using MySQL. The host is just localhost and the database name is, let's just check, Centibot. And we just have a username and a password in here. Pretty straightforward. So now what we can do is inside of here, we can create a prepared statement. So let's just call this track and we will say DB prepare and we will say insert into tracking we want to insert the Twitter ID and the values that we want to insert is Twitter ID like so. And then we just execute this query, passing in that Twitter ID. And that of course is coming from each of our tweets. This contains an ID. So we have tweet ID like so. So now if I go and run this, assuming we don't have any problems, we will see these insert into the database. At the moment, I've got 46 rows and there's now 66. So if I just go and send a tweet, we should see this update. So let's go and send this over to Code Course Bot and just say, I am happy. Go ahead and tweet this. We should now see this change to 67 because we would have technically replied to that person. So let's go and check this out. And of course, this has jumped right up because what we're not doing is we're not only bringing back mentions that have a uh, last ID. Now, what I mean by this is if we just head over to the Twitter API, uh, we have the ability here to pass in a since ID. Now this will return only results with an ID greater than the specified ID. What this means is in your database, if we just order by Twitter ID, so here, you'll see that this will be say the latest tweet. What we do is we pass this into the Twitter API and it will only give us mentions after this. So let's just say you're in the situation where you run this every 15 minutes, it will get back the latest 20 tweets they will be then sent, so they'll be replied to. When we get to that, they'll be stored. And then when it runs again after 15 minutes, it will grab only tweets with a greater than at this. So it's essentially just queuing these up. And this will obviously mean that we're not replying to the same person as I've already mentioned. So I guess what we need to do then is just do a very quick query just up here. This is before we send these to the mentions. And we just need to say something like last ID and we need to perform a query just here. And this is going to be select, let's just do everything from the tracking table. And we want to order by the Twitter ID. We want to uh, order that in descending order. And we want to limit this by one. This will just give us back the last ID. So in here then, what we can do, in fact, we can fetch the result first. So let's go and fetch this as say an object like so. And inside of here, we want to first of all, check if we do have a last ID. So we can do a ternary just in here. And if this is the case, the way that we pass this in using CodeBird is something like since underscore ID, and that equals a value. So we can pull back our ternary again. So we're going to say last ID. If that is the case, we want since ID, and then we want to append on the last ID. Twitter ID 
Otherwise, we want to pass in nothing to this. So now if we do a var dump on mentions and then just kill the page here, what we should see, if we just fix up this tweet, of course, I did an underscore here for some reason. There we go. So we see no results, which is exactly what we want. Now, if I go and tweet to code course bot and just say hi there, hit tweet. When I refresh this, we should see that one tweet. Now there's a lot of data here, but this is just one tweet. So now we will perform sentiment analysis on one tweet. We will store that in the database. And then of course we won't ever see this again because it's already been stored. So let's just get rid of this var dump. Let's go and come down here. And it's at this point we want to tweet. So let's just test this out. We'll refresh that will have stored. And then we should see now 87 that's incremented by one. This is the latest tweet. And now of course we're back to square one where if anyone else tweets us, we can go ahead and perform analysis and then go ahead and tweet them. So uh, that's pretty much it for the tracking side of things. This is really important because we really don't want to be spamming people. Let's go on to the next part where we're going to look at replying to the user based on that emoji that we selected earlier.